think there's both uh, concern at the governmental level to not act too quickly and continue to expose people. Uh, at the same time, from an economic standpoint, uh, faster is better. So you've got two conflicting uh, leadership uh, teams who are looking at this and both have the best interest of their countries and their employees at heart, but they have, they come at it from different angles. Obviously the healthcare professionals want us to stay quarantined as long as possible to, to reduce and minimize the spread and hopefully eliminate the spread. Uh, business leaders obviously want to get back to work so they can um, restart their businesses and get things moving. So uh, when will it end? I don't think we know yet. Uh, that's the challenge of it. We don't know if this is going to end in June or if it's going to end in October. Uh, and so not knowing that, we don't quite know how how deep the the impact is going to be on various companies. You think about the airline industry, um, they're going through great difficulty right now. They're obviously not flying as many passengers. They're they're changing routes and they're um, obviously all, they're, it, week by week, they're recalibrating what they do so they can stay at least stay in business long enough to survive this until the economy re rebounds. What are their mission critical things? Well, obviously they've got lease payments to make on those airplanes. They've got union contracts to pay their employees. So they've got to evaluate how much of that they continue with week by week, month by month. Uh, I think it's that, that same equation is happening across all industries and all businesses. Um, what pieces do we have to continue going? Uh, this is the first of the month. Many companies have lease payments due on property. Uh, are they going to continue to lease those properties or are they going to default? Uh, if they default, what's the impact of that? Uh, so there's a lot, I think there's a lot of, uh, again, reevaluation and recalibration going on. And unfortunately, it's happening week by week. Yeah. And so to what we're going to do when it comes out, I think we're going to have to first know how deep the cuts were that companies had to sustain to survive. And then once they figure those out, then they'll, they'll be able to kind of reevaluate and position themselves going forward.